सो हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ फाइनेट एलिमेंट एनालिसिस आई एम भाविक सोने जी एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरियस बाउंड्री प्रॉब्लम एंड बाउंड्री कंडीशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन वेरियस अप्रोक्सीमेट मैथड्स टू सॉल्व एफ ये प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड what are the boundary conditions and boundary values in fpa so now all of you must aware about in fpa we convert every problem into mathematical formula or in the differential equation which is a function of any phenomena so uh, what are the boundary conditions and boundary value values let's understand it by one example here you can see this is a cantilever beam why it is cantilever beam because at the one end it is fixed and on the other end it is free on the free end the force is applied and it is denoted by f here uh, this cantilever beam is having length l so at this point at this end the value of x would be 0 and at this end the value of x will be l now as you know this cantilever beam is fixed from this end so the displacement u would be 0 at this end and on this end displacement is unknown that we want to find out so in the cantilever beam the function uh the displacement we want to find out and the displacement is the function of uh, x and the force f so uh if we apply this boundary condition at x equal to 0 the value would be zero so this thing we know and this thing will help us to solve the engineering problem or to solve the differential equation so this value the known value over some domain or over some point at particular region of the function is known as boundary condition and all these problems related to boundary conditions are known as boundary value problems so various boundary value problems are uh, solid mechanics heat transfer problems fluid mechanics or acoustic diffusion all these problems are boundary value problems then uh, this phenomena can be useful to solve various problems let's understand it by one more example uh, like in this case this is the hollow cylinder which is uh, subjected to internal pressure which is indicated by pi and we want to find out the stresses produced inside it and the displacement of uh, the various points so these are the unknown values we know the internal pressure value that is boundary condition and we want to find out the unknown values like stresses and displacement of the some points so here again uh, applying boundary conditions will uh, help us to solve the problem and will will find the solution accordingly so this can be applied to every problem of finite element analysis so let's uh, discuss it more for particularly solid mechanics because we will find out the uh, procedure for solid mechanics first and after uh, for 
solid mechanics we will uh, generate a anatomy for all other type of problem of fpa so for let's say boundary condition for solid mechanics now as you know solid mechanics is related to uh, displacement and stresses so uh, let's consider a problem uh, here this three dimensional body is occupying some volume v which is denoted by capital v and it is having a surface which is indicated by s so on this boundary uh, there is a force applied which is denoted by t which is a tractional force and due to this tractional force there will be some deformation of this body so if you want to find out the deformation of the body it is indicated by u and u is the function of three coordinate system that is partial coordinate system x y and z we are considering here 3d body because we want to find out the deflection or the deformation of the body in three dimension so uh, it is denoted by u the deformation which is in x direction it is small u in y direction it is v and in z direction it is w the force applied on that point particular point is having three different uh, uh, components like fx fy and fz the traction force again it is it, it has got three components same tx ty and tz and the deflection we are getting it is a function of uh, 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 load p which is acting on that particular point and it is also having three components like px p y and pz so stress is produced will be a combination of uh, uh, static stresses and the shear stresses and we can solve this problem by applying these conditions so if we know the stresses produced inside it and if we know the components of force fx fy fz by applying this equilibrium boundary conditions we can find the u which is displacement or deformation of this point so by finding out the u deformation at this point we can similarly finding uh, find out the value of u at other point like this point or this point like any point of the uh, 3d body we can find out by applying same uh, principle and these things are known as boundary conditions so hope you find it uh, useful and thank you for your time